guys. So it's my first time here, but we're at Tech Studios, which is my clothing manufacturer. We're in like I don't know what part of LA is. This is down, 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 downtown down? LA. Yeah, downtown LA by like the art district. Yep. And yeah, we're about to go fucking see our jacket. I'm kinda excited. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is so is, good. Without anything, you know, just like try it on and see how it feels. And it should feel the same. Okay. Oh, oh my. Cool. Yeah, you see here, you have a little. Little puff. Little puff. Wow. That's what it just <laughs> What's this? is size medium, right? Yes, that's what. Uh, this yep. Is. Yeah, these t-shirts down, you know, I would put it, you know, okay. always, yeah, they yeah. always, always do that, like, otherwise, like, they, like, the pockets, like, hang down, you know, weirdly. How do you feel? But, yeah. Better. Good fit is, but, it's down there. Let me try it, let me, you know, try it on. Yeah. It was really good. The salt. Dude, solid bro. Do you usually wear medium or large? I wear large. Yeah, I saw like was like it's a medium. Ooh, so good. You know, for the snaps, I think you better you better get. I think those are painted ones. And those they'll get like worn out over time. Yeah, we I got that. So maybe like has like a good texture. Yeah, yeah. You know, but then, so you know, good. then you don't have to deal with the with the real leather cut like yeah. parts and it's so freaking expensive. That's fine. Especially in production. Yeah. So I think this is perfect. So how much do you think production will be for this jacket? This is crazy. I think that's a good position to me. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, because now we get like that. I on the bottom, I'll mark exactly like points. You know, and yeah. then it's so much. Post one, I'll mark it on the palm. Like, this is the palm. You know, I'll. Sometimes, now since I have the full scale digitizing table, I just go and like, like digitize this with the pen, yeah. like trace it, and then copy and paste pretty much over the piece. Yeah. So you did the sleeve really well. I was trying not to catch the wow. lining inside. I'm trying not to catch the lining because if the lining is so good. Just the workshop is misspelled, but yeah, it's okay. Can you try it? Yeah. yeah. No, you can do it. Wow. Yeah, you can at least get the idea. Let me just put it And the background of the Let's workshop see. is supposed to be black. Right now it says workshop. Oh my god. Dude, so clean. That's, that's clean. Sure. But everything else is good. Look. Can you, can you look? Yeah. It looks so good. Exactly. Yeah. Let me double check. Perfect. I think I think everything seems fine. Yeah. Positioning like the height and stuff, I think looks good to me. I think the the color's fine. Maybe like a little like like, but he said he can pick it easily. Yes, yeah. a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I can shorten it like a quarter inch. Yeah. A quarter inch is perfect. 
Yeah. Yeah. Or if you want, I can keep the back that high. But I think all around, like one quarter is done. Yeah, just all around. Yeah, just, just the. Uh, like a lot. No. Mm -hmm. Wow. No, I think it's fine. It's hard. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe to lower a little bit uh -huh. the material, you know, the, you know, patch, but I think it's fine. I, I think everything looks good. I like that there is a little more space here than here. Yeah. Because hmm? it's, it's one, in the middle. This one feels more like on the middle. Yeah. And this one seems yeah. like smaller. Uh -huh. And this one is not too low here to go over the. Yeah. I think it's perfect. It's perfect like that, yes. Great. Wow. That's exactly how it is. Wow. Same jacket. Body. Look at this. Shit. Perfect shape. Exceed our expectations, bro. Yeah. Dude. Are you fucking kidding me, dog? Look at the sleeves, dog. Made in LA. So guys, so um, here I have first fitting sample of what we've been working on um, for the past seven, eight months. Watch any of my earlier videos, you would have been able to see um, all the references we had um, put into this jacket, all the sourcing we've done. Um, took us around like three months to uh, analyze all the fabrics we're using. So like I said, this is just a fitting sample, but it did really well. We have cracked, oiled, stained vegan sleeves, hold its shape really well. And the more you wear it, it is going to keep cracking. So um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really cool the more you wear it. The whole body is 100% Italian wool, so it's super, super thick. Um, we did make this as a lightweight varsity, so um, the inside's very spacious. You can layer stuff if it's too light. Also, snap metal buttons that were dyed. Uh, we dyed them matte black so that hardware is gonna age. Um, it is made so that when you do get scratches on it, it'll patina really well over time. Lining, this gray lining. Uh, we didn't choose silk because our manufacturer gave us a warning about silk, uh, saying that because we are using Italian wool, uh, it might be too hot. So I don't know the like official name for it, but it's super nice touch and finish. Um, on skin, you'll be able to feel it. Shiny too? Yep, it is very shiny, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ribbing, super thick ribbing, uh, which was also put through a processed dye. So it's not like jet black, but um, I think it contrasts really well with the, the really deep wool black mm -hmm. that we have on the body. Uh, we are changing the pockets a little bit. Uh, right now, it is a double welt pocket. Um, also lined with the same fabric we have in the jacket. Production ready ones will be single welt, so you will be able to see because we did use the same leather as we used on the sleeves um, on the pocket lining, so uh, it's going to give it a chunkier look. Uh, patches aren't done yet, but I think within a month. that when you do wear it, um, it kind of scratches up in bunches. Um, but it doesn't entirely bring in the jacket, which a lot of like vintage varsities have the problem of doing, and it just messes up the whole shape. What I was worried about was um, whether the sleeves were gonna be too heavy for the body. It's like, when that happens, it just fucks up the fit with uh, most varsity jackets, but yeah, it turned out really well. The color, we wanted initially was a lighter gray, but I think this looks actually really nice. Um, especially when you're out in the sun, it looks way different. Um, you can see in the buttons, the snaps are really nice. Kind of like ASMR. Really good snaps. And then when you unsnap it, 
it sounds really nice. Yes. Right here, it's already developing a little scratch. Yep. So if you wear it a lot, you're gonna have a lot of them. Yeah, it's gonna patina over time. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is the fitting sample. Yeah. I'm super excited about uh, production ready ones. It should be coming within the next month. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you guys like the whole process of what it's like making clothes. They show the process of making it, but not to the extent where we've been like actually bringing you guys to the studio and going through all like the the back and forth conversations with what it's actually like making a garment, especially mm -hmm. with something that's this deep into materials. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys the whole process. So any anyone else that wants to start a clothing brand or wants to make a jacket will we'll see that it is very time consuming but it's worth it at the end um, especially if you have a vision on what you want uh, and you work with the right people mm -hmm. it's all it's super time consuming it's really expensive but if you want to do it I mean you can do it literally we this started out as a drawing yeah. that I did at, at home mm -hmm. on a piece of paper with a pencil, so like, this shit can happen. Like, and yeah. it's not finished yet, so. It's nowhere near finished. Yeah, so, super nice. Yeah, everything was made in LA, so we, we were really hands-on with yeah. the piece. We didn't get anything exported out. Everything Nothing. That was, everything was in LA. Mm -hmm. I was sewed in LA. Uh, not all the fabrics were sourced in LA, but um, all the dyeing process we did, Bro, you want these bits on bands? <laughs> what year is that? I don't like The soul looks... I don't They're... like the soul. Really? I mean, you're never gonna see it. Yeah, that's true. They're kind of hard. They're like old school bands, kind of? Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> yeah. The OG Revenge Storms. Like, appreciate like this guy right here. Look at him. Random yeah. What jeans? Helmet. Explain to me. You got the jeans, 97. Type 1, Japanese LVC. 1990s. Big E's, bro, only. Okay. Wow. Our legacy. Our legacy. Mules. Some simple. Some nice. Okay. Wait, Josh, let me see. Okay. So, Shells. Margiela. Cracked red. Damn, you got helmet and Margiela on. Exactly. Who's out here like it? What the fuck? Shit, it's a demon. What's up, guys? So, today, woke up pretty late. All my classes got canceled, which is nice. But um, I am going to the gym right now. Different, another another switch up with the content. Definitely want to show you guys more of like uh, lifestyle. I feel like I'm pretty boring, but yeah, uh, about to about to meet up with some people at the gym. So I guess if I record anything in there, I will put it in. You guys will see it. But yeah. It's about to be POV.
Y'all are both trash. Thank you.